Why hello there, pursuers of the toxic god, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Stellaris Toxoids, Episode 7, Bulwark Bellum. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Network relays are done. That's awesome. Network relays are uh, sort of a newish uh, of two updates ago, a newish introduction to Stellaris, and it's really, really, really nice. I love, 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 love relays. So relays allow you to build structures in each solar system to hop between your own systems much, much faster, which is amazing. Okay, you guys don't want a tributary. Um, what... Who should we go to war with? So, there was the Tendrakian Star Regime. They have an equivalent fleet power. They're a rival of ours. They have inferior technology and better economy. Or um, the Dublian Consciousness. Where are they? Where are the little dubes? And these guys, I don't really have any. Uh, they're inferior fleet. Inferior tech, equivalent trade. So, Dabulan or Tendrakian. And then you can pick the terms. I need another rivalry. Who wants to be my new rival? You guys. Congratulations. I now hate you. Construction complete. Man, Zorcorp. I just can't meet Construction curators. Construction complete. Anomaly found. So the double uh, another thing that I didn't really check was do they have allies? I guess I should have done that. So the Tadrakian here have no allies. They have no backup. Nobody's going to come to their aid if I declare war on them. The Dabulans also have no allies. And they're currently in war, a defensive war as well. Because, you know, if they had a lot of allies, I might want to reconsider about who I go to war with. But that's not the case. System reconnaissance completed. You're surprised I'm on this late? Yep, started at 7 p.m. Gonna finish at midnight. Late night rad. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Durasteel. Ooh, droids? Durasteel armor. I should start making robots, though. I will consider it. So here at my Order's Fortress, I'm going to start building robots. And then I will relocate the robots one to each world, which will make those individual worlds a little bit happier to have robots, given that they're materialists. You guys want me to declare war on Dabulin? Okay. So then, uh, there is the question of what kind of war is it going to be? So, I will have you pick the terms. I could... What sort of war? I don't really want to claim war, so... Humiliate. Humiliate just gives me some influence. I don't really need influence, so I'm not even going to include that. So there is a... Uh, vassal. Prospectoria. Oh! The mandate comes to the defense. I guess I was wrong about that. Uh, let me see if anyone comes to the defense over here. The Mullinock Hierarchy, who is a Prospectorium. Okay. So, just to know, these guys go to war with us if I go to war with them. I'm uh, okay with that. I don't really care. It's fine. So, if we wanted to subjugate them, let me... Um, Wait, why can't I... Oh, you know what the problem is? They are currently in a war. Uh, meaning that I can't even subjugate them. So, 
Sorry, you don't have a choice. I have to go to get the Tridracians. So you're going to have to pick terms for these guys. So what sort of war should we take against the Tudrakian? A vassal, a bulwark, a scholarium, or a prospectorium? That'll be up to you. You'll be two and a half minutes to vote on this. Special project complete. Wow, I still have piracy? Damn, they have a lot of trade going through here. What the hell, man? Kind of ridiculous. Actually, it's super ridiculous. I'm gonna move my um, shipyard back to my homeworld, and Shia Shadow is gonna become another Bastion. So this is gonna be your name, the Shia Shadow. Bastion, debris secured. and then the Laser DM Bastion. Science Division report success. Terraforming gases, so I can start terraforming the worlds around me. Nice. Command Matrix would be awesome for the ship fire rate, so I can shoot them up faster. Permanent communications have been established with the alien empire. Can you please just introduce me to the curators? Oh my lord, is this so troll. I keep meeting the wrong enclaves and I don't really want to meet them. At all. Construction complete. <laughs> There we go. Finally, we've tamped down on the, uh, the piracy and Big Sea Panda. Big Sea Pirate Pandas. Construction complete. Recon pass completed. Terraforming. Teropa, you cost 5k. I will have that in a second. There it is. Do I want Turopa first, or... No, that is disadvantaged. That has hallucinogens in the atmosphere. Oh, let's go for the hallucinogens. So Turopa, you're now being terraformed. And then at the same time, what I could do is... Uh... Oh, you know, I don't have any... Gases, exotic gases to terraform faster. Never mind. And you guys want me to subjugate them with a... Scalarium... So propose that they become my Scalarium, where they have no diplomacy, no expansion. They have to come to my defense, but I'll give them sensors. They're going to decline, and then we're going to go to war to enforce it. Yeah, they're like, nah, we don't like that. And I'm like, what? Oh, what? <laughs> I can't go to war with them for that? Uh... We do not have the cause for war because of the relative power. Okay, so my relative power between them and me is not high enough. Basically, I'm not... The game, like, I need to expand my fleets. So that I look stronger and therefore I can subjugate them. So I will do just that. Um, so, this is going to take a little while because I have to reinforce my fleets from afar, but, uh, cruiser, cruiser, ooh, can't afford that, destroyer, I'll save up for cruisers.
So I'm rolling two cruisers out from my shipyards. And as my relative power compared to them goes up, uh, I'll be able to subjugate them. I'm not doing more than one fleet just yet. My current fleet can um, found. accommodate up to 90 size, mm -hmm. and I'm at 36, so there's plenty of wiggle room. System reconnaissance completed. Construction complete. The other thing is I also have the hyper relays that I would really like to roll out, but because we're trying to go to war, I'm going to conserve my alloys for not the hyper relays, which is a bummer. What? Abandoned habitat? Where? What? I don't know where that was. Is it the new species DLC? Yes. Toxoids is the newest DLC. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Oh, something to vote down. Nope. Things probably have been passed. Yeah, there was some things that have been passed, so I'm going to pass to repeal it. <laughs> I basically want to stymie the galactic uh, community so that they never get anything done. But I will support a galactic council because um, I would be on the council. I am still the most powerful empire in the galaxy. Uh-oh. And I now have a moat sh shortage because I am inattentive, albeit powerful. Why am I spending moats? I must have built something that uses moats. Recon pass completed. I'm not going to worry about the shortage because I just bought moats to cover for it. Okay, we're rolling out another cruiser. So, that's the third one. And at some point... Complete. New sit rep. At some point, uh, they will be registered as in, uh, inferior to us, and we'll be able to subjugate them. What did I just find? Alien log, ship logs. Cool. Do the bold lines indicate uh, borders on factions? Yes. So here is the borders. Green is my faction. Yellow are my vassals and subjects. So if it's the same color border, it's that um, Construction it's a complete. allied territory or something like that. So in this case, all of this sort of toxic green color is Special all of my stuff. Complete. New oh, the rubricator route. chain. Where is that? Because that gets really dangerous. Where is the rubricator? Um, that's here. So this this system here, Osmodin, is basically screwed for a long time. So New there's really route. no point doing anything there. Hey, we found uh, signs of activity in Sky Collective. I don't have a free scientist at the moment. So let's roll out another science ship that can go deal with that. So this scientist is going to be named JFED. And I will build you a science ship for you to deploy on. Ooh, better shields, finally. Jesus. Waited forever for that. Construction complete. New sit rep.
Oh, we're looking pretty good. We should be getting close to being able to subjugate them. They're going to decline this, and then I can see if they will, if it's potential for war. I think we have to um, expand the fleets a little bit more. Because they're not quite inferior yet. But they're getting close. Let's get another... Uh, another cruiser. Let's throw up to seven cruisers from three. They said no. But I don't have the vassalization just yet. Still working on it. So there is the Molumnock hierarchy project complete. that is somewhat moving into my territory up here. This was one big empty bubble for me to explore and expand into, and they're definitely uh, making themselves comfortable, I'll put it that way. Special project complete. Okay, there we go. That was the Erassian artifact. That brings us up to five, I think. Yep, five of six. So one more, and we'll discover the precursor chain of the Erassians, which is exciting. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Durst Armor got done. Uh, let's get exotic gas refineries, because I don't have any exotic gases, and it would be really good for me to have some. We're still negative in the um, in the moats too, completed. so I have to keep an eye on that. Oh damn, Science they are expanding fast. Reports a new breakthrough. Mahler, Mahler not hierarchy wants to pledge secret fealty to me. So what that means is that they want to shrug off their overlord and become my underling. They are currently a. They're currently. A bulwark underneath the Tendrakian star regime, which is who I'm going to war with. So that's actually another um, potential war. I could wage an allegiance war, freeing the Mullernox out from underneath Tendrakian and making them my underlings. Um, so should I consider freeing the Mullernox? Yes or no? It's not freeing them so much as it's just putting them under a new, you know, under new leadership. And I'm sure I spelt every, everything wrong because, you know, they're all made up names. But now we have a new complete. type of war that we can wage. So I figured I'd, I'd ask. Under new management. Exactly. Is it better? Probably not. It's probably worse. But it's ours, so, you know, counts for something. What's the option to put in motion that I just explained? Um, so, all I would really need to do... So, the Mallernox just ple pledged secret fealty to me. And all I would really need to do is to declare war on the Tundrakians, as in allegiance war, where the Mallernox fight the Tundrakians, and if I win, uh, they become a bulwark underneath me instead of the Tundrakians. So they're basically, the Mullernox want to switch sides. They want to back me because I think they see me getting stronger and stronger and stronger because I've been um, heavily investing in my Navy. And they realize that um, the, AI, the AI in this case is actually relatively smart. And they realize that essentially I am going to win this. We, we have a Cold War buildup between me and the Tudrakians and they realize that I'm going to win. And they'd rather just back the future winner because there's, you know, I won't be smashing their fleets as a result. It's smart. It's really smart on their play uh, to, to switch allegiances. So I think I answered your question, unless you want me to go more into detail. So the yes is um, to enact the plan. Correct. Yes would be Mullernox come under my management. Construction complete. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Oh, hi. 
this is a uh, a fallen empire that's. Uh, I'm surprised I just System met now, considering completed. I shared a border with them all this time. But you know, those things happen. Louis, you are out of workspace. Let's fix that. And then Fangface, let's start retooling you. You're going to be generator district. So I'm going to replace this with a energy grid and then change you into a generator world. So we no longer need you as a farming world. Louis is going to be the new farming world. Oh, and speaking of which, Louis, you are now a farming world. And then my orders fortress could be a... No, I'll have him be a fortress world. That's fine. So... Oh, tell the knight Licky, or you, you, uh, L Y Y L I Lily? I'm just gonna call you Lily. One day, a stranger arrived at the keep as a tournament of squires was being held. Most of the Order's knights were present. Clad in Neutronium armor, the stranger strode into the combat grounds. The joyful clatter of the crowd died down as the newcomer drew his weapons. The challenger was clear, and with the blessing of the Lord Commander, Senna, Knight Urko Lavola answered the call. Within moments, the fight was over. Urko laid bested on the ground. Knight Laji met a similar fate, as did sibling Asmiri. With three knights down, the Lord Commander summoned the Order's Champion, Lily. The Chronicles of Mighty Warriors, peerless knights who have never been defeated, and Lily was well on their way to join ranks of these legends. The champion entered the arena, weapons at the ready, and saluted their opponent. Many a ballad would be written of the duel between Lily and Molin Nico, the Sable Knight. For hours they fought. Hours? Damn. For hours they fought, the challenger unable to trump Lily's guard, the knight unable to pierce the advanced armor of the adversary, without art of passing skill. The stranger's voice echoed in the arena. I see thy reputation is no boast. He laid down his weapons. I yield to thee, champion. Would thou allow me to return from whence I came? The order's code was strict, and that question had but one answer. So the Sable Knight, named after the color of Neutronium armor, departed aboard a small ship of alien design and flew into a tiny, unstable wormhole at the periphery of the system. Lord Commander Senna expressed forbade, uh, expressly forbade anyone from following, and sent Lily to monitor the unstable wormhole until a science team could be dispatched. Not long after, the champion was confronted at their post by Knights Urko, Laji, and Esmeri. They asked to be let through so they could face the Sable Knight again. Give us a chance to restore our honor. Thou hast never uh, known the bitterness of defeat. A foul, foul taste is best washed out in blood. So, uh, there's a choice here. Here are the choices. Duty is all, thou shalt not pass, or honor is all, our business is with the stranger is not yet over. So, do I stop them, or do I let them pursue? The two, the the, the three loser knights. <laughs> I'll just call them what they are. And then, um, I will be freeing the Mullernox. So, um, allegiance war to put Mullernox under me is my next goal, and I'm going to do that as soon as the Gnaw fleet upgrades. It's currently upgrading. Construction complete. Is your science ship named? Uh, ships don't get named, but you uh, are named. Okay, so duty is all, thou shalt not pass, is what we chose. The Lord Commander's orders are are clear. Thou shalt not pass. There was not a long pause before the reply came. We're going through, and thou shalt not deny us. Prepare to be boarded. Spurred by anger and blinded by honor, the knights set upon uh, their fellow. Three against one, they pressed Lily from all sides, and with such reckless abandon that they were progressively backed into a corner of their ship. The, the fight was unfair, and Lily was not careful to harm the others, but in the end, 
their life on the line, the Order's champions had no choice but to fight back with all of their might. The day ended in anguish and grief, for Laji had been slain in battle, their sibling was wounded and overcome with sorrow, Lily was victorious and had carried out her orders, but had killed a fellow knight in the process. Lily made great sacrifice to serve us. So knights now produce stability and unlocks the herald knights in the duties option. So that is here. Nope, I lied. It is here. So I can also make them a herald, which reduces the edict cost and edict upkeep. I'm still going to have them be questing because there's still stuff that I'm surveying. They've been questing knights this whole time. Science division report success. Shields are done. Oh. Uh, hey, sh fleet that was upgrading. Stop and upgrade again. Get the better shields. So taking a look at the designs. Corvette. Yep, they all are rolling out. Oh, you know, my, uh, I don't actually have good components for that. So, yeah, we're fine. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Let's get afterburners so I can stick special slots in there. Mollernox, get ready to fight. I'm about to conscript you. 15%. Oh god, that's slow. Are knights now lawful? Uh, uh, the except for the one that died, yes. If we chose another option, um, I have no idea what the options would have been if we chose differently. I'll be honest. I haven't played enough of this to have gone through every possible System reconnaissance completed. Uh, solution. So I don't know. If you're really curious, you could probably uh, wiki it on the game's wiki. I am terraforming all the world's in my territory from whatever Science they were Division to reports a new breakthrough. my native desired oh not you again i'm gonna keep paying them off because i'm about to go to war and can't afford to go fight raiders so afterburners got done mining station improvements uh so if afterburners are done Again, I'm going to have to cancel the upgrades. I know, it's just getting ridiculous. But uh, for ship designer... Ooh, I can't afford that. Never mind, scratch that. Okay. Again, another upgrade. Hopefully this goes a little bit faster. Inbound message traffic. Don't I have the hyperlane tech? Yes, I do. Um, I have been trying to conserve my alloys to build ships to go to war, so I haven't been um, building the hyperlane networks. I will eventually, but the each hyperlane network node costs 100 crystals, and I only have 37, and it costs 500 alloys, which I only have 395, so it's kind of beyond my capability to pay for. Construction complete. At least for now. Oh, the Mullernox wanted a commercial pact with me, and I like let it time out. I just opened an embassy with them, though. So now I'm just waiting on that fleet to upgrade, and then I'll bring those forces to bear. And look! Hey! They're inferior to me. Science division report success. So it should be a quick war. Come on. Construction complete. Fleet done? Yeah. All right. The fleet is ready to go. So I'm going to get him in position 
And then I'm also going to get my invading armies in position, and we'll declare war and immediately start invading. And then from here on out, uh, now that I have the forces ready, I will start building the hyper relays to connect my colonies together. In fact, let's have a governor for Louis. And this governor is going to be named Final. Nope. Pick Pickling Empire just Science went division. extinct. Reports I think the double unconsciousness absorbed them. That's what you get for sleeping. Being weak. Okay, we are fleets almost in position. <laughs> We're just straight hostile. Yeah, you know what's coming. Construction complete. Okay, we're good. Uh, declare war. Allegiance war. Standing by to commence offensive operations. And, ooh, I just found an archaeological site in their... Oh, not even in their territory. In shared territory with uh, Mollernock. So now Mollernock is full fighting with me? I flipped Mollernock? Science division report success. So I get uh, to see their their territories as a result. System reconnaissance completed. Oh, who just died? Turtle sandwich is dead. Uh, from old age. Yep, he was ninety three. Replacing him with someone new. So Elon Lacrosse, you are going to be kicked out of. Bureaucracy, uh, societal research. And then this new scientist is going to be named Nightbot again. No, Nightbot, you don't get to win twice. Kadath. No, you're already governor. Uh, Jadia. There you go. I kind of like your old name, though. You're Ederick Igor Iglison. <laughs> what a name. Jadia won. And you are now the societal researcher. And then... The Elon Cross, you're going to be a surveyor. Switching places. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Am I subjugating faction with threat of credible force? Yeah, I guess so. And we're invading now, too. I like how it's uh, 164 years into this game and I'm still meeting new people. Which is just stupidly absurd for, for Stellaris on a small galaxy size. Like, look at the galaxy and I'm still meeting new people. It's, it's uh, strange. complete. There are some things to be named. I will just cherry pick um, rather than have a raffle because the the uh, the bot's just going to give it out to the people that already have duplicates. So, Roberto, you are now a wormhole. And we have Ah and Beas for Badger. And I think that's... Ev oh, JFed, you can be a system too. So, JFed, you're going to be the Elgate system. Okay. Oh, deck. You will be the the relic system. All right, they are getting smoked. And my army should be landing on Trappist pretty soon. So they have three worlds at Trappist. Two guards, two guards, two guards. Easy, easy, peasy, peasy. And we should be gunning for their homeworld, which is uh, at Helos, because that's going to be best war score. 
Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Ooh, deep space black sites? Yeah, I like that. Hey, my flute's ready to move. All sword ground elements uh -oh. are dropping on target. Bang face, you ran out of space for jobs. Let's expand that. Who died? Uh, just an envoy. Envoys don't matter. Envoys aren't like normal leaders, where when they die, they're just immediately replaced with someone with the exact same qualifications who just step into the role without any effort. Envoys truly do not matter. You, you, you can't even name your own envoys. So you just, yeah, it's, it's weird like that. And yeah, that, that uh, attack alert was very loud. Ground forces are dropping on target. Construction complete. Sword One Actual reports all ground objectives secured. They are getting smoked. Taropa, you are a very good general leader. All sword ground elements are dropping on target. Sword One Actual reports all ground objectives secured. Construction complete. We've gotten so strong that some of the um, rivals that we had previously are no longer eligible to be our rivals anymore because we outweigh them too much. They're too they're too tiny, which is uh, funny. I am setting up that hyper network that you wanted. Oh, that's already queued. So we're going to get hyper networks all the way out to Taropa's uh, zone. And I'm starting to move towards the Tendrakian's capital. All sword ground elements are dropping on target. Permanent communications have been established. I also just met Empire. the other Marauders. Ground objective secured. So there's Marauders here, and then... I actually don't know where the other Marauders are. Didn't I just meet them? How is it possible? Eh, whatever, I don't really care. As long as they're not attacking me, it doesn't really matter. So this is their capital world at Rod Targas. Okay, there was a choice here. Um, so we were at the Broken Gates and they were starting to tinker with the machine and they were suddenly beset by a shared auditory hallucination, a screaming command by something to be unearthed unshackled. Visions of a creature ripping apart the bathed system plays over and over in their heads as the creature's demands grow shriller. Several of the scientists fall unconscious, unable to deal with the un unabating torrents of sonic pain that rack their bodies. We can either rip the machine apart before it can cause any more harm, giving me engineering research, or let out the Eldritch Horror to be released in the Bade system. And then an event called Incoming Transmission happens in 10 days. So, yep, you can pick. I think, uh, regardless of what you pick, Tangier, it is time, my friend, to leave that system. Like, get out now, because uh, depending on what the chat votes for, I'd rather not have an Eldritch Horror rip you apart, if possible. Just a personal preference. I know. Old-fashioned, but trying to have it rip you apart. All right, so here's their home world. It has no armies. Are you kidding? Are you trying to hand it over to me? Okay, we'll invade. Thank you. Please, bye. You're dead. And you guys want to let it out. Okie dokie. All right, yet another choice. 
Finally, bow down, mortals, grovel before me, and I shall grant you protection and wisdom. Oppose me, and I shall be your end. We can embrace the Elders' Horror. It causes our population to grow slower, but research better. Or we can gain influence and fight it. This also up to you. Okay, uh, we're gonna pray to the Eldritch Horror, it looks like. Yeah. Okie dokie. So here, oh, Jesus, I, destruction. Here it is, the Eldritch Horror Science that we now pray to. Reports a new breakthrough. You guys are weird, but I like it. I like your weirdness. Uh, so that Eldritch Horror just like blew up the whole um, sector in Bade and turned it all into black holes. So, that's a heck of a rip and a fart. But the advantage is Eldritch Knowledge. So, more research speed. Kind of nice. System reconnaissance completed. Ground forces are dropping on target. And done. Mollernock is now under our regime. We had won that war. We have researched the living state, which allows me to basically build Space Guantanamo. That's nice, apparently. And I think, friends, this is just about all the time I have for Toxoids, but it has been a lot of fun. I think in the short amount of time that I had here, um, I have dominated the galaxy. I would say, what, that's at least a quarter, if not a third. I am by far the strongest empire in the galactic community with a pretty sizable lead. No one's really going to catch up, I don't think. In fact, I can even make it more sizable. There it is, 1.9k. Thank you for tuning in to Stellaris Toxoids, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 28th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams that adjust to your time zone. If you'd like to join my gaming community, a link can be found in the description of the video or at Rodamont.com. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios.